everyone welcome back so in this video i am going to be sharing with you all another very interesting genetic disorder which is known as the jacob syndrome so the reason why it is known as jacob syndrome is because it was given this jacob syndrome was given a detailed description by a person called p a jacob so the disorder the syndrome was named after him as jacob syndrome so jacob syndrome is also called as the super males so from the name itself you must have understood that this disorder has got something to do with the males so why these males are going to be called as a super males so now let's take a look at what are the reasons for the disease and why those men are known as the super males this disorder is exclusive for the males so what is this disorder all about so i already told you in yesterday's video that all the human beings are going to be having 23 pairs of chromosomes in which 22 are the autosomes and the remaining one are are going to be the sex chromosomes okay so when we talk about the females the sex chromosome in case of females is going to be xx and the sex chromosome in case of males are going to be x and y okay so that is a normal male okay so the person who is going to be having xy chromosome is going to be a normal male now why are we calling people who are affected with jacob syndrome as super males the reason is because they are going to be having additional y chromosome okay so on the whole if you see all the other human beings will be having 46 chromosome i'm talking about normal human beings so normal people will be having 46 chromosomes but people who are affected with jacob syndrome will be having one extra y chromosomes so they will be having 47 chromosomes on the whole so now what is the reason for one more y chromosome in the male so the reason is because so during it is actually because of non disjunction so what is non disjunction so usually what happens is the homologous chromosomes for example there are uh, this is a homologous chromosome so usually the homologous pair of chromosome has to separate out okay so the homologous chromosome has to separate out and it has to enter each cell but then in case of non disjunction what happens is the homologous chromosome does not separate out so the failure to separate of the homologous chromosome is only leading to adding one more y chromosome to the person who is affected with jacob syndrome all right so this is the main reason non disjunction is only the main reason for the person getting affected with jacob syndrome so they are considered to be super males so why are they considered to be super males so if there is one more y chromosome if there is additional y chromosomes everything which is there in a male is going to be little more increased so whatever is there for a normal male is going to be little more increased for the super males okay so for them the sex chromosomes extra one is there why extra one y chromosome is there so the sex hormones are going to be produced more than a normal male so the sex hormone will be produced what is the sex hormone of a male it's the testosterone so testosterone is going to be produced in more amounts apart from that the people who are affected with the jacob syndrome will be very tall okay and then they will have a criminal bent mind and then they will be aggressive when compared to the normal males okay so these are some of the characteristic features of people who are affected with the jacob syndrome but they are quite normal and they they are all fertile as well okay they are not infertile so people who are affected with jacob syndrome so the men who are affected with the jacob syndrome are all normal and then one more thing is that it actually one in 1000 males are affected by the jacob syndrome but then only 85% not 85 out of the entire 100% only very less people are diagnosed with the jacob syndrome and the remaining 85% of them don't even know that they are affected with jacob syndrome because this disorder is something normal okay it's something normal and uh, even if they are diagnosed with the disorder 
only thing there is no cure as i already told you there is no cure for uh, genetic disorders but all that can be done is genetic counseling can be given so counseling can be given to the person who is affected with the genetic disorder so to assist him and face the situation which is going to come up in the future okay so i hope you liked what we have discussed in the super males so thank you so much for watching